I wanted to go over some basic math that you can do inside of C++. Now, these are pretty cool and, and simple things that we can do, mainly around a geometry slash trigonometry type of idea. Now, the C++ math functions require that we use radians. Now, one degree is equal to pi divided by 180. So if we want to convert our degrees into radians, I have the operation here. It's degrees times pi divided by 180. So I've got this mathematically set up for us, and I've got a constant value for pi. So C++ is going to give us several different functions that we can use. So let's take a look at what these are real quick. So I'm just going to use C out. If we want to specify the sign of our degrees, then we'll say sign, and we'll give it the number radians. If we want cosine, we'll do a similar thing. And we can continue on. Sine, cosine, tangent, the arc cosine, arc sine, and arc cotangent are all available for us inside of C++. Now what I've done is I've just gone ahead and copied the extra function in here. Now the sine, cosine, and tangent all take radians. Now the arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, if you don't remember correctly, they take a value that would have produced by the value of sine, cosine, and tangent and convert it back into the number of radians. So if I go run this code real quick, you notice it comes up. The sine is going to be 0.866, cosine is 0.5, tangent is 1.3, and my arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent all provide for me the exact same value, meaning that they all were generated and came back, and that's the number of radians that we have. Remembering that our radian value is going to be between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So that's how we do basic mathematical operations for sine, cosine, tangent, and the arc versions of those functions.